Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk through the top jewellery essentials or jewellery basics that I think are worth having in your collection. This is something I get asked about a lot. I'm also going to give you a little bit of a peek into how I store my jewellery and also my entire jewellery collection. So if you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. I want to start with the jewellery essentials first, beginning with my favourite category, which is earrings. So there are a few different styles of earrings that I'm going to recommend. These are ones that I wear on rotation and I tend to reach for them on a daily basis for the most part. One is a bit of a statement, so that's probably more for a special occasion or when you're wearing something a little bit more minimal. So let's start with the type of earring that I wear every single day, which is just a classic hoop earring. I'm going to show you guys proper close-ups, but the first pair of earrings that I wanted to talk about are my Majuri Editor Hoops. Now, I personally love these because they aren't a circle hoop. They do have a little bit of a gap at the back, and they aren't too big either. They're just a nice everyday size. They are elegant, understated, and they go with absolutely everything. If I don't know which earrings to wear, these are generally the ones that I reach for. The quality of them is very nice as well. I'm going to link some other alternatives to these down in the description box below. The second type of hoop earrings that I think are worth having are more of a bolder look. Something that is either larger or that is thicker. So the ones that I have here are from Thomas Sabo and I adore these. Now these are a really yellow toned gold so you can get more of a paler gold or you can get something that looks a bit more like this. I personally like these for when I want to make more of a statement. So when I'm wearing a minimal outfit but I want something that's a little bit bolder and that's going to be my key accessory for the look. The next type of earring worth having in your jewellery collection are a lovely pair of studs. Uh, this is sort of a basic something that you could potentially even sleep in. I used to have some really nice little gold ones that I could wear in the shower and I could just leave them in. They help to ensure that your piercings stay open and that they don't close up. I've got a couple of pairs here that I thought I would just mention. The first pair is from Majuri. Again, I'm going to show you guys close-ups, but these are just a lovely little pearl earring with a little diamond. And then I also have a little silver pair, which are from Pandora, and these are just a little circle. So they've got a little bit more detail to them. They're a little bit larger than the Majuri ones but they are still very minimal, very plain, and they don't detract from my outfit. If you work somewhere that is maybe very corporate or somewhere where the dress code is quite rigid, a stud is probably a really good, safe bet. Even a nice little diamond stud as well, something that isn't too big or loud or flashy, I think would be really nice. Then we have the sophisticated earring. So to me, this is the type of earring that you can wear day to day, but it transitions really well to evening as well. I've got two pairs here, just to show you a couple of different examples. So so the first pair are from Holly J and I have mentioned this in another video but I have a discount code if you like anything from her store. These are a little gold drop earring with the pearl drop which I think are very sophisticated, very elegant. These are timeless as well I think, the kind of earring that you can wear for years and years. You don't necessarily need to spend a lot of money to get something that is good quality and that will last you a long time. I like the fact that I can wear these just on a daily basis or I can reach for them if I'm going somewhere fancy like a nice meal out. Then the other pair that I have are the loop earrings and these are the earrings that I collaborated on with Majuri a couple of years ago and I still absolutely adore them. So these are quite a fine design but I think they work really well just for day to day. I always get I always feel so proud whenever I see my girlfriends wearing these. Um, I just think they are so lovely. They're just a little bit unusual because the circles aren't even and they just loop in and the bottom loop just dangles there really nicely so I think those are another good option again I'm gonna link other alternatives then my next earring suggestion would be something that you can wear day to day so it's something a little bit fun it's not super loud and it isn't too large the pair that I wear which I'm not sure I would 100% recommend because mine have tarnished uh, my Reliquia spiral earrings. So what I like about these is that they're a little bit eccentric, a little bit unique and unlike anything else that I own. I love that coiled design and they are quite a small little hoop so they don't look too large on my ears. They kind of hug my earlobe which I think looks really nice. Then the final type of earring that I think is worth having is a great pair of statement earrings. So these are the ones that you're going to wear when you're wearing a very simple minimal outfit or when you just want to jazz things up. I've got two examples again. So the first pair are from Lily Sardugi and they are these resin earrings. They're in a tortoise shell and they've got 
three different colors to them so they've got a brown a black and white and also a pink tortoiseshell almost like a terrazzo print and I really like these because they're sort of a resin acrylic so they are very lightweight they feel very comfortable on but they just pack a serious punch so you can see they're quite large against my face and I love the way that these look the second pair that I've got are from anthropology and these ones probably not available but I'll find something similar they're these gold earrings and these are just so neat they really stand out and especially against my dark hair I find that they make a major statement and they again are very comfortable I love that sort of folded wavy design to them as you can tell I definitely think that earrings are a great way to go if you want to add something to your outfit that is either very subdued very subtle or if you really just want to go all out considering the fact that when we're talking to people the thing that they are focusing on the most is our face and our earrings sit very close to our face so that to me is why they tend to be such a big or important part of my jewellery wardrobe and it's definitely somewhere where I'm quite happy to spend a little bit more money. Next I want to talk about necklaces and I've got a few here. So the first type of necklace I would suggest having is a basic everyday necklace. This is something that will go with everything in your wardrobe. It doesn't sit too low, it doesn't sit too high, it's not a choker, it's not quite something that sort of sits too low in your chest but it's just right. Sort of the Goldilocks length. I generally like something that has a chain which you can adjust the length so you can make it a little bit longer if you're after that particular look. I've got two here that I wanted to mention. The first one is from Missima and this is just their mini molten and I really love this because it's just a very simple circular design but it's got a little bit of a detail to it. It's not completely basic and it just has a very fine chain. The second one that I have is from Majuri and this is probably my most worn necklace just because of how basic it is. So it's essentially a little coin necklace but it has little diamantes. I think the cubic zirconia is in there with my zodiac on it. And this again has an adjustable chain which I think is great because it means that I can wear it a little bit higher or a little bit lower down but it just hangs at a really nice point on me it's not too low or anything like that there are so many different options out there for this so it's all about finding a designer that works for you the next type of necklace that I thought I would mention is one that I don't actually have but it's a statement necklace so something that's a little bit bolder that's a bit chunkier I have seen some that I really love there's one from Tiffany's that I would adore however it's really expensive, ridiculously expensive. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford it in my lifetime, but I will leave it linked below so you can get the idea. But something that's a bit chunkier and that has a bit more presence around your neck, I think is lovely, especially if you're wearing a crew neck sweater. It's a great little pairing. I personally prefer gold metals over silver, but this all comes down to skin tone. Certain skin tones suit gold, certain others suit silver, and some find they can work with both. I have more of an olive skin tone and I find depending on I suppose my tan, <laughs> how tan I get because I am half Greek, I, I will either suit gold or silver. So when it comes to bracelets I really think it's all down to what you like to wear on your wrist every single day. I've got a couple of options. Personally I don't like when my jewelry makes too much noise. First one is one that I got for my 21st birthday as a present from my mum and my stepdad and it's just a very simple Belcher chain bracelet with a little heart charm on it and this just is so special to me it's very very sentimental it's very classic as well I would actually wanted one of those Tiffany's necklaces this was around the time of Gossip Girls so I think you can probably hazard a guess as to where the inspiration came from but something like this that is timeless I mean I've had this for 10 years now and I still love it that you can maybe invest a little bit in that is going to be very hard wearing is a great one I also have my mum's one now as well so sometimes I double them up a little bit then I think a nice bangle is a good one to have too. So you could even pair it with that sort of chain bracelet. Now this again was the other gift that I got from my mum and my stepdad for my 21st. So this is just a really lovely little gold bangle as well. So I like the fact that this is very simple. Mine actually has the white gold and rose gold as well. So it means that I can easily mix metals with this, which I really like. I think that actually makes it quite a versatile piece. Then the final type of bracelet that I think is worth having and a really good one if you want to stack as well is a fine bracelet. Now my favorite one is from Aurelia and this has a little bolo tie style um, closure. I'm not really sure the proper name. If anyone knows the technical name for that, please let me know. What I like about this is it has these beautiful dainty little star charms along the bracelet. There's one that's got little cubic zirconias in it which I think makes it feel really special. This one is quite a fine bracelet and I find it also looks very pretty when worn on its own. Finally we've got rings and 
I think this all comes down to personal preference because some people prefer to wear chunky rings, others prefer to wear fine rings. I'm very much a fan of stacking rings. I really love the way that it looks and how you can get a very different vibe depending on what rings that you stack. My favorites are from Majuri again. So I've got a couple here which I wear on my left ring finger which I like to stack up together and I think they make a really nice combo and then I've got a really nice little dainty ring with a pearl on it just because it makes it a bit more of a statement and it's a little bit more noticeable when I am wearing it so I love those as a little combo I generally tend to wear them on my right hand um, that's where I feel like they look really good and they complement my wedding bands really nicely so those are the jewelry pieces that I think are worth having in your jewelry collection now let me actually show you how I store all of my jewelry and a little bit of an overview of the jewelry pieces that I have. The first place that I want to take you guys is my bedside table which is where I keep this little trinket dish that has the jewelry that I'm reaching for every single day. This does rotate depending on what I feel like wearing but at the moment this is kind of a good little overview of what I'm reaching for aside from the jewelry that I'm wearing and a couple of the items that I was just showing you before. So I have popped a few things back in here like my editor hoops, my Thomas Sabo earrings and those little pearl earrings from Holly J, but then I've also got my Missima Interstellar necklace, which you guys know I purchased during the Black Friday sales last year, which I absolutely adore. I think that is so beautiful. I love the little contrasting stones with the star and diamond or diamante, should I say, charms, which I think is very lovely. I also have this lovely little medallion style necklace, which is also from Holly J, and I really love the effect on the actual queen there. I have my little Majuri diamond necklace. I love wearing this for day to day. I just think it is very dainty, very refined. It's quite pretty. And then I also have these little hoop earrings, which are from Orate. And I love the little effect on the earring. Hopefully you can see it here in detail, but just very pretty. Also on my bedside table, I have this jewelry box, which is from Menu. It has a mirror on the inside. And I tend to keep probably, I would say, my most worn jewelry items in here, things that I want to reach for for day to day. So some of my favorites include these little chain drop earrings, which used to belong to my mum. They've got sort of a aged silver and then a gold link at the bottom, which I just think are so stunning. And I always get compliments whenever I wear those. I also have these beautiful pearl earrings. They're a hoop with a pearl on them. These are from Pandora. They actually came in a few different color options as well. I think they're in gold and rose gold as well. I really love those. I think Pandora does really good, affordable, but beautiful jewelry that's very feminine. Probably one of my favorite or oldest actually jewelry pieces as well is this necklace, which is from my dad. This is an Ankh and he has the matching ring. Well, my sister has it now. This is so sentimental for me. And I think this one's an 18 karat gold. So it's probably one of the heavier items that I have. I've got a couple more pairs of hoops. You guys know how much I love these styles. I have these oversized ones, which are again, just from Majuri. And then I also have these ones here, which are from Amber Skeets, which they just sit on the front of your ear rather than kind of hanging around the back. Another piece of jewelry, which is very sentimental to me is this necklace here, which used to belong to my mum. She used to wear this basically every single day when I was younger. The glass has cracked slightly at the back, but I still wear this sometimes. It's got a very, very long chain. So usually I wear it when I have got something very simple on. I have these very pretty little hoop earrings from Stone and Strand. Like I said, I've got a bit of an addiction and I love the stars on them. I just think they're very fun. And then this little one here, which is from Holly J, which is another one of those hammered designed pieces, but this has two little circles in there. And that's another good little classic basic for day to day. Then let's just show you maybe one more pair of earrings in here before I move on to the <laughs> main jewelry box that I've got. This pair is from Madewell and I managed to snap these up during a shop bop sale. I feel like I got very lucky with these. I always get compliments on them. I love the contrast of the pink with the gold and they have a bit of an Aztec design to them. They have similar earrings like this on their website so I will be sure to link those down in the description box so you can check them out. Then the final place that I store my jewelry is in this large jewelry box from West Elm. I can't remember if I bought this earlier in the year or if I bought it late last year, but I've had it for a little while now and it's a really good size. It opens up 
like that and you have these areas here just to hang up your necklaces there are a whole bunch of compartments here and here and then some spaces here for your rings I'm going to show you guys a better look at it don't worry and then there are a couple of drawers at the bottom here the first thing that you see when you open this up are the necklace hooks which I've just got my fine necklaces hung on here so a fine gold necklace this little choker from Majuri which I don't think China Shittle it's held up really well I haven't worn that one in a while I've got this very old necklace this is actually my cross that I received when I had my christening as a baby. I have my, again, this one I actually think I received when I was a kid as well. I think this is from Greece. My Yaya bought this for me. And I have the matching earrings for it as well. So that one's one that has a lot of sentimental value to me. And then I've got a couple of other necklaces there too. I'm just going to give you a quick little overview of this. So as you can see, these are all the compartments. I like to keep my sunglasses on the left there. I just find that really convenient. Those are two pairs that I'm not wearing at the moment. And then I have tried to kind of separate some of my jewelry pieces here, depending on the type of metal. So I've got gold on the left here, and then I've got silver on the right. And then you can kind of see here that there's an area for you to put studs and rings. And I've got a few rings on the other end, which are just some basic gold rings. And then I've got these silver ones here, which are all actually really quite old um, some of the probably more sentimental pieces in here are this turtle bracelet which I can't say that I have worn in years but this was a gift from my stepfather's mum she bought it for me when she was in Greece and I think there's a turtle island and she bought it there this bracelet here which doesn't look like much but it was a gift from Luke when we went to Santorini with my mum my stepdad and I really cherished that one and then we also have this was my mum's bracelet that same one I featured at the start of the video and then we also have this ring here which belonged to my mum too which is really nice it's just a gold almost like a bevel design with little diamonds in it then in the first drawer this is where I tend to keep my statement earrings and also some of my silver jewelry so I've got these earrings here which were made for me by my friend Mel I'm gonna link her Etsy store down below I've got some Bowden earrings these are in a navy and a white they're beaded and very fun those Lily Sadugi earrings I showed you earlier I also have this really beautiful diamante necklace that used to belong to my mum and it basically has these little floating diamantes honestly it looks like you've got diamonds floating around your neck whenever I wear this because it's just attached with a little nylon I love that I've got some of my old Karen Walker necklaces too including my chrysanthemum necklace which was given to me by my uncle it's my 21st birthday present then in the final drawer this is where I keep some more of my gold jewelry that doesn't fit in the top or that I just want to be able to see a bit better these are all ones that have been given to me from my mum and my yaya I've also got my mati as well to ward away against evil spirits we have some pearl necklaces in here too and then I've got a bunch of pins and random bits and bobs down the side here. So there you have it. That is a look into my jewelry collection and also the jewelry pieces that I think are worth having or investing in for your collection. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new one. See you then. Bye.